I served as an executive in a telecommunications company for a number of years, and we were playing with laser transmitters and Faraday isolators, wavelength division multiplexing. And uh, it was a blast. And one day I woke up to the realization that, that, wow, we are sending billions of different conversations, uh, documents, videos, etc., through different frequencies in an unseen realm. You see, when we look at cell phones or satellite systems or or point-to-point optical systems and, and apply 21st century technology to these tools, it is unbelievable what's going on in our society today. And one day I woke up to the realization that could it be that the natural communications that we're participating in could be somehow similar to spiritual communication? What do I mean by that? Well, people always laugh at this notion of prayer, that somehow a billion people can communicate with God at one time, that there's some ability where even telepathically God can read the minds of all of these different people throughout the world, hear their petitions, hear their cries, under, you know, just understand their thanksgiving as they are crying out to him. And I realized one day that we have tools today that can give us a glimpse into maybe how God does this. What I mean by that is it's just all about frequencies. If I have a cell phone, it's tied into one wavelength frequency. If I have a satellite system hitting my direct TV, it's another frequency. But right now we've got billions of voice conversations, documents, movies uh, flying by our face. Spiritual communication would be no different. It's just tapping in to another frequency. When you really see what's going on with technology today, we have a a glimpse into more of the reality of what could be happening at an unseen spiritual level. See, the unseen realm, we're using it all the time. We're using it when we send a movie to Japan. I'm using it when I pull my cell phone to my ear. It's an unseen realm. We've just learned how to harness it. Could it be that the physics of prayer work very similarly? Throughout the last 5,000 years, could it be that it's just that God taps into a different unseen wavelength? No different than natural communication when I'm speaking right now and that wavelength is coming to the hearer. Could it be that telepathically God is tapping into a different frequency? So when you look at these different areas of wavelength division multiplexing and isolation and, and laser transmission and laser receivers, Could it be, and I'm not saying that God does it this way, but could it be that we have now got a glimpse into the physics of prayer?